it's Lexi and today I'm bringing you um, a week's worth of sales almost a week's worth of sales I'm cutting it off today Saturday at 5 p.m. but it's Sunday to today Saturday at 5 p.m. Um, so a little bit about myself really quickly I am an online reseller I sell mainly clothes but I'm definitely working on my hard goods game um, I sell on Poshmark and eBay and I've been doing this since May of this year so not for very long so um this week was mm, it was an okay week I actually spent the weekend um really it was all day Friday all day Saturday all day Sunday all day Monday um out on a bachelorette trip and so I think I might have shared my closet during those four days one and a half times I just I wasn't um in a mind frame I was trying to have fun and I just yeah I didn't share um but I still made sales so that's always fun um I actually made you know it, it so like the rest of the week was kind of like an aftermath of that and then when I came back I just had a couple days too of not really selling and um not really sharing and not listing um but things picked up at the end of the week once I shared and listed so listen when we all say share list 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 share okay so let's just get into this um starting with Sunday September 1st I just love that it started on the first of the month it's just perfect anyway starting on September 1st um for Poshmark I sold this hell bunny vixen red birdie dress and if you don't know what hell bunny vixen is the brand it is a vintage inspired retro brand um very reminiscent of pinup girls and i actually picked this up because i when a fellow youtuber um mick thrizzle i will link her down below um she picked it up literally two days before i found this dress she had mentioned it and i was like came across it at a thrift store at Goodwill and I was like hey this is pretty cool and I picked it up um so it sold a size medium and sold for $30 on Poshmark and I paid $5.36 for it and it sold in four days so the way that I do my um, cost of goods now is I um, take a day's worth of shopping and I pretty much um piecemeal it out I don't do her item as much anymore so I probably paid $5.99 for that dress but because other things that I bought were cheaper it came out to $5.36 um the reason I do this is because I'm trying to look at the big picture and instead of like how much money am I making per item it's how much money am I making in a month um and that has really helped me because I would just hang on to things that I needed to make um more profit on when you know in reality I wasn't going to um, but everything balances out so the way I look at it is that I have a lot of items that I buy for 25 50 cents a um, dollar because I have some really nice honey holes around here um, and so then when I do pay up for things um, and usually paying up for me is five dollars or more depending on the item of course then it kind of balances out so there's definitely items and you'll see some in this actual um, week of sales that sold for a pretty you know substantial bit considering I paid 25 or 50 cents for it even though I don't think I have a single sell over $30 I don't think I do um, but that's typical for me I'm much more of a volume seller that's what I'm working towards anyway um, I say that and then when I tell you how many things I sold this week you're like yeah no that's not that's not volume selling but I'm just starting okay everyone is in their own lane okay so on eBay I sold nothing on Monday <laughs> Um, so Tuesday on the 2nd, I sold two things on Poshmark. The first is this pair of Sam Edelman wedges, and they were pink with these really nice embroidered embellishments with buttons around the wedge. The buttons. Sorry, my little boy. Um, yes. You want cake? You want some cake? Cake, cake. Yeah? Okay. Go, get, go, go get some. Let's go. He's good. Um, yeah, so back to these wedges, they were super cute. They weren't in the best condition. Um, there was a lot of like flaking of the um, pink coloring artificial leather of the inside. Um, but I was actually given these for free. So I sold them for $16. 
and I paid zero dollars for them and they sold in 13 days. The next thing I sold on Poshmark on Monday is this, oh my God, I loved this dress. It was a vintage, the brand was Pinot Noir dress and it had window pane design and it was like this pale yellow and I just, it was like button up all the way down. It was so cute. Um, I wish I could have worn it myself um, and I purchased it for 16 cents. It was that one of my honey holes they used to be um fill a bag a grocery bag for a dollar and it would come out to about 16 cents go get the cake it would come out to about 16 cents per item and um they no longer do that now they charge a whopping 25 cents every piece of clothing so things are not worse but anyway um I thought this thing was going to go so fast because I just thought it was so cute and so on trend for, you know, that vintage vibe and I bought it during the summer. Um, and it took 99 days to sell and it only sold for $12. But I was happy to send it off because the person who um, wanted it really, really wanted it. Um, she actually um, asked me if she could, um, if I could just lower the price so that she could get the closet clear out shipping discount. So I just feel like if you go out of your way and that much to like think outside of the box then you really want it so I let it go it was still a good profit for myself my son is saying that he's stuck so I'll be back okay <laughs> kid is I'm stuck <laughs> um so then on Monday the second I sold one thing on eBay and it was a jockey brand scrub top I think this one was navy and it was size um 3xl and it was new with tags um this was a bunch that I had bought from that um, this other thrift store that I have that they have 50 cent Fridays. So this one I paid 50 cents for and I sold for $10 um, plus shipping. It took 87 days to sell. Um, things like that, they just take a while because they're not exactly like sought after, um, but people actively search for them. So if someone wants that and they search for it and you pull it up, you know. Um, let me see. All of this, actually, I forgot, I've been forgetting to say this. Every bit of this has been um, offered from people, except for this eBay sale was actually an offer to a watcher. So I offered $10. Um, that's kind of like my going rate for new with tag scrub tops. I only buy new with tag scrub tops and I only did it because I was getting them for so cheap. So um, yeah, I offered $10. I work in the um, healthcare, I work in healthcare as my day job, so cheap scrubs are hard to come by and um, I give them a little bit of a, you know, deal. I, I, I like to do that um, sometimes. Okay, Tuesday the 3rd, I had one sell on each platform. On Poshmark, I sold this um, Ethel blue jean jacket and it had this giant cross embroidery with um, rhinestones and studs on the back and on each pocket and they were I think it was um flat pockets button flat pockets there it is and I sold this for $20 on Poshmark it was given to me by the same person that gave me the Sam Edelman shoes and it took 19 days to sell um, and then on eBay I sold one thing and there are these Christian Serrano Payless for Payless um, shoes that were this pink white kind of thing they had some it was funny because um sorry kid again um anyway uh what was funny about these shoes is that they looked to be never worn like the soles um the, the bottoms everything but they had some like yellowish discoloring um and i don't know if it was i'm not sure what it was the point was they're little peep toe shoes and um i paid 25 cents for them and i sold them for 12 dollars plus shipping and they took 73 days to sell <laughs> there is another munchkin in here well it's the same munchkin but he's back um okay and so now we move on to wednesday the fourth i had one sale on poshmark it was a pair of hudson nico mid-rise raw hem ankle jeans and they were light wash they were in really good condition. Um, I have been playing around with the whole jean game because people talk it like it's just amazing. Um, and so I, I, I look for the, the, the styles and the brands and I buy them and then they don't sell or I don't list them forever because I hate listing jeans. There's just too many measurements, they're too long, they're difficult to, pay, to photograph. So anyway, um, 
these sold for twenty dollars um, on Poshmark, and I paid four dollars eighty nine cents for them, and took thirty days to sell. So I mean, I guess that's like twenty dollars is fine. I, I made a profit off of them. Um, <laughs> you know, a little over ten dollar profit, but I don't know if it's worth it for jeans. I just don't know. I'm like I said, I'm. Yep. I'm trying to learn the gin game and I'm just not doing too well at it. Not at all. <laughs> this video is going to have more interruptions. <laughs> okay, so um, I had that one sell on Wednesday on Poshmark and then I had three on eBay. The first one was another jockey scrub top. Um, this one was a 2XL and I sold this one for $12. It took a whopping 101 days to sell. Um, then I sold this Aeropostale, um, California graphic t-shirt. It was, um, men's size small and I picked this up at 50 cent Friday. So it was 50 cents and I sold it for $10 plus shipping. It took 12 days to sell. Um, and then I had this, oh my God, I loved this shirt. It was so cool. Um, it was, the brand was Creative Destruction and it was a pink button up collared men's shirt and it had dachshunds and hot dog buns print all over it and it was I I loved it when I saw it I had to buy it and I thought oh my god this is so cool it's so interesting it's gonna sell like that it was a uh, men's XL and yeah it took a lot longer than I thought it took 35 days which I think most resellers aim for like 60 or 90 days so 35 is not bad um but I paid two dollars for it and I sold it for 20 plus shipping next on Thursday the 5th I had one sell on eBay, a pink Victoria's Secret, um, gray long sleeve full zip hooded jacket and it had black sequins, um, stripes and logo. It was really cute. I had found it for $2 and I sold it for 20 and I took, it took, it took 65 days to sell. I sold nothing on Poshmark <laughs> on Thursday. Um, Friday the 6th was the best day. So. I listed a lot of things on the 5th, probably, I mean, for me, um, I think I listed 20 things, 20, 25 things on the 5th, and it showed, because on the 6th, I had, um, five sales. So, Poshmark, I sold huh, my first ever, um, find, I, it's okay, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's about to lie to you. This is my second time ever to find Lululemon Bottoms um in the wild or ever actually the first pair unfortunately had stains on them and i bought them because they're my size so i figured if i couldn't get the stains off they could, i could still have them in. so i do have a pair and uh it's really cool because i've never owned a lululemon before um but this is the second time but it was some lululemon dance studio pants in like this royal blue they were really neat because they had this like ruching down the side with um elastic bottoms or hems um and they were in really good condition there was like one little snag and some of the elastic was a little loose but you could easily just like double knot it you know um so i was super excited to find them and i paid 4.99 for them at goodwill they sold for 40 in one day i think i listed them at 50 and someone offered me 40 and i said yes ma'am it was a ride along comps especially for like you know a little bit of a flaw um and then on poshmark so that was one. And then on eBay, I sold four things. I sold a new with tag, Free People, Clear Skies dress. It was white and it had long sleeves with the cold shoulder. It was super cute and I was so excited to find it um, at Goodwill for $3.99. And I thought it was going to sell faster and for more money. Um, I also thought it would sell on Poshmark and not eBay. You know, you just expect these things and it didn't happen. Um, anyway, I sold it for $22 in nine days. Uh, that was right around where Comps were. It really was. Um, there really weren't any white ones sold. And so I was hoping maybe I could get a little bit more. Maybe it was a little bit harder to find. But then it was after Labor Day at this point. So I guess I should just be excited it sold because it was white after Labor Day. Um, so then this next sell. Oh my god. I really wanted to keep this for myself. But I'm not really stylish enough and I don't really go out enough um I just it's not my scene I guess you could say um but I love that scene and I kind of wish it was my scene um but anyway it's this Esprit Sport 
full long sleeve zip up sweater cardigan and it was like purple and black oh my god i was so excited when i found this it was at this hey. church <laughs> hey it was at this um church <coughs> garage sale and it was basically like i'm so sorry and i'm really sorry too if i'm not in the same place i was um i had a phone call come through and i'm filming on my phone um because i don't have a space camera yet so anyway that is uh, that esprit sport esprit sport sweater was so cool and i got it from this church sale where they were basically like you know give us what you think it's a donation um and it, what i ended up getting came out to be 94 cents a piece and i sold it for 25 dollars on ebay in 15 days the next thing i sold was this ann taylor loft um pink pencil skirt it took 82 days to sell, but I only paid 25 cents for it. Um, and it sold for $12, and I think it was a petite, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was 12 petite. Um, and then I sold this London Fog trench coat, um, belted black, and I got it at the same place as the Esprit Sport um, sweater, so I also paid 94 cents for it. Um, both of those things, actually, the funny part is that they were the two last things I picked up. Uh, because they had like these tables of just clothes piled and I was just going through and I picked up things like that and um these two pieces were actually on racks that I looked through with my mom and I was like this sweater is pretty cool and, and then she's like well, what about this trench coat and I was like oh we'll just try it and they sold um I've actually sold three things from that haul and I think that I only bought um 16 or 17 things so that's great that they're actually selling um and that fog the whole that fog the london fog coat sold in one day um okay so that wraps up friday and then today is saturday the 7th and up until 5 p.m um honestly on saturday nights i tend to sell pretty good so i'm really hoping that happens tonight um let's get done filming with this i'm going to share and list share and list share and list i'm going to try and list all of the rest of the photographs i've taken um, because tomorrow I plan on working through my death pile. I sold one thing and it was on eBay and it was a flax 100% linen um, black oversized tunic top. Um, I picked this up at 50 cent Friday for 50 cents and it was a full price sell at $28. Um, and it took two days to sell. So it wasn't even on sale. Um, I'm currently running a sale in my eBay store and I listed this um, during the sale so it's not on sale technically because it wasn't selected so full price sale yay 50 cents to $28 I'll take it all day <laughs> so yeah my highest price item was $30 yeah um oh I lied no 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 I forgot about my $40 Lululemon sale but still just $40 and my um smallest was $10 I sold a total of 17 things, six on Poshmark and 11 on eBay. And my total sales was 332. Um, if I'm just taking 20% off, even though eBay is different, just to make it easier. So um, that means after fees, $265. And then if I take out my cost of goods, it comes out to $235 in profit for the week. Um, I like to always say, or I guess I should, will start saying, because I can't say that I've always said it, because this is only my second video, but, um, the way that I do my inventory spreadsheets is, I, I don't know per item profit, except for on Poshmark, because they immediately take out those fees, and so you know, you know, um, I used to go through all the eBay and take out the fees and the shipping, so no price per profit per item, and it's just not worth it anymore figured it out it's not worth it it's a lot of work for nothing so it's kind of a guesstimate um in fact I probably made more 235 is like the least amount that I could have profited from them. <sighs> toddlers <laughs> um but I probably made a little more um based on shipping overages because which I it's okay that's not a good way handling charges so like if someone um pays I mean this is a really small one but if someone does a um padded flat rate envelope on ebay it is eight dollars for them and 7.55 for me so that 45 cents is a little lanyap or extra if you don't know what lanyap means 
in French. It needs a little bit extra. So, 235 is the bottom of the totem pole of profit that I could have made for the week. It's not a whole lot, but um, I, right now I'm just putting it back in my business and pushing forward. Um, so, thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below, say hi, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.